So next up we've got the Parazord. And it comes of course all of the uh, little ones here come with the, their charger. Quick look at the box here is the front and of course the back with it I guess what it's going to look like on the show and it shows you both of the, um, the secondary line here and the Zord Builder uh, figures. Well, enough of the box. Let's get the review going. Here it is. Not much to, uh, to really say about it. Get a little closer view of it here. It's just black on yeah, with a little bit of a uh, yellow and silver accents here and there. So now that we've got a closer look at it, let's go ahead and take a look at the gimmick for the Dino Charge series. Um, this is the charger that it comes with. Now, I've already showed you one Parasaurolophus charger, the one that came with the Morpher. But it is slightly different than the one that we have for the Morpher. Um, the main difference that I can find is that the sticker for the... Uh, Parasaurolophus Zord itself has a lighter sticker, darker sticker for the one that comes with the Morpher. Um, I really don't see any difference in the, the writing. And the QR code is the same. So we'll go ahead and just put one off to the side here and we'll take this one. The back sections on this one uh, doesn't come off. It's all molded together. Um, as far as I found, there's no parts that accidentally come off if you pull too hard on it or anything. So it's a pretty solid figure. Um, we'll go ahead, this one, instead of the jaws going up, this one it goes down. And then just insert the battery in here, or the charger in here, push all the way in, and the tail opens up to reveal a gun. Not quite sure what that has, well, how that helps it in this mode. Um, obviously, it's much more better for the combination with uh, the Megazord than with by itself. I couldn't imagine it running around and then having to turn around to shoot somebody and then turn around and start running again. Just seems silly to me, but eh, it's just me. Uh, this uh, with the American line here, we have the slider. Slide that up, and the charger comes out. Don't need the charger. Just slide this all the way back, and you get the feature to go. So let's go ahead, actually reinsert the charger, and slide it forward, because we are going to combine it with the Megazord. Let me just bring the Megazord in. Uh, does not matter. It's going to form an arm, and it really doesn't matter what side that it goes on. The instructions go have it going on the right, and I believe with the combination with the Raptor Zord, it's on the right. So we'll just do that. We'll put it on the right. Um, I did not read the instructions on how to fold up the arms because from other reviews that I've seen on this, Plus, just glancing at the instructions, it has them in some stupid way. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take these front legs back real quick to make some clearance. Um, take the front half of the arm, fold it all the way back, and then bring that all the way back as far as it will go. And then what we can do is extend this forward, and then bring this up. I can't remember what the instructions said for... For this, I think it's something like this, and you gotta do like this or something. But uh, that just looks, in my opinion, stupid. So we'll go ahead and do it like this. Just looks more compact that way. Yeah, you, well, you get this. Uh, I think I did something wrong. No, no, I didn't. Just looks weird. All right, do the same thing here. Roll that up, spin that around, and bring that up. 
and it's ready to connect to the Megazord. Just like that. And we give the Megazord a gigantic gun on his arm. Let's see him pointing at the camera. Give him a little Clint Eastwood, uh, you talking to me? Not, wait, no, sorry, that was Taxi. <laughs> no, the, uh, yeah, we all know, Dirty Harry. Anyways, so, um, yeah, big, huge, gigantic gun for an arm. He does have a fist. Uh, the only bad part is, is that it's molded all in this black, and even um, with, if I had better lighting, it's hard to see it, but you can see that there is the hole that you could stick a weapon into if one would fit in there. And you can kind of see the knuckles in this angle, but otherwise, I mean, it just looks like a huge, gigantic gun for an arm. Like if he was the T-1000 and he formed his arm as a gun or something. The other cool thing that you could do with it uh, is that Kiryujin doesn't have this little tab up here. He has his Zord Builder port. And there's a little female Zord Builder port. So you could have a freaking shoulder mounted rail gun. I think that's awesome. You couldn't actually get this in Japan without, I think, getting Bragigus, which comes with that piece that goes over here and allows Parasagon to come on top. But we get that right away with the Zord Builder functionality. So, yay, Zord Builders. That'll be about it for this video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you when we uh, look at the Raptors Zord. Take care. Bye.